Now, I've been seeing the Arculus cold storage wallet advertised on YouTube. Do you have any knowledge about the security and ease of use of this from Beans? Well, all these wallet questions are popping up all the time. We did BC Wallet last week and we had some comments about that. So let's check this one. What is Arculus? So first of all, it is a very intriguing project. It's a new type of wallet where your keys are digitally stored on a metal card. I know a lot of you bang your seed phrase into metal cards and split into two and bury them in different places. But this metal card communicates with a phone app, an Arculus phone app, to send crypto, receive and send crypto. And this is definitely a very unique selling point that we have not seen before in the space. It's kind of fascinating, interesting. So how does it work? So the secret sauce is they use NFC. This is the stuff you use to tap your phone, your credit card uh, in a store. Uh, it's near field communication technology uh, to communicate between the app on your phone and the metal card. And this is the same technology everybody uses now today. And the metal card uses a secure element that digitally stores your keys. It's similar to the chips found in bank cards and credit cards, but they do use the BIP39 standard, which last week's wallet did not in terms of seed generation. So this is a positive and uh, it's also like Trezor or Ledger. And if the device gets lost or stolen, you can restore all your crypto with your backup seed phrase, which is of that BIP39 standard, which is you know, thumbs up. So let's talk about the little bit, final comment on this one. So Ar Arculus is owned by Compo Secure, which is a publicly traded company on the NASDAQ, and it specializes in manufacturing NFC chips in credit cards. And they got 20 years of experience in the credit card payment space, and they are definitely the right company to build such a solution. However, a couple of little things just to be aware of. One, no open source code. Therefore, we don't like wallets that aren't open source projects. They do have a white paper, but we'd like to see more documentation, which is uh, simply not to the level that we want. We want to see more around specifications, etc. how it's actually built. Uh, there's very limited coin support as well. They support, support Bitcoin and Ethereum, but not much else. Nothing for Cardano, Solana, BNB, etc. And they don't even support all of Ethereum's derivatives, ERC-20 derivatives. It's also unclear how many different cryptos you can have on one card. They mentioned that the chip only has 512 kilobytes of memory, which is very small in this day and age. 20 years ago, that was a lot. Today, it's nothing. And in their frequently asked questions, uh, they mention you can only create one wallet. If this is the case, then it's very limiting. As I, we always say, never keep all your eggs in one basket. And if I'm understanding that correctly, basically you're forced to reuse addresses which is a big privacy concern. And there's also no mention of a wipe pin or duress pin, which is something we would like to see. So another wallet review. <laughs> so I hope that helps. But the conclusion for you all to take away is we'd love to give it a shot, but we would not use it for cold storage. And, uh, you know, it's, it's probably uh, going back to the example we mentioned, it's something that you can use to make transactions and carry in your pocket, but it's not designed to be a true cold storage device that you would bury in your backyard. I would not use it as my primary cold storage device to store life savings, but it's an excellent hot wallet replacement. You use it to securely store and spend your crypto or your money. Now, but just imagine yourself running around with in town with a Trezor in your pocket it's impractical and not safe. And running around with this articulous card in your wallet makes much more sense. Put it in your wallet with your other credit cards and then you know where you are. But again, not for heavy duty storage of crypto as we go forward. Just what we believe.